Magandang araw sa mga taga Camarines Norte. Ako po ay si Don D. Gaite, isa sa mga anak ni Rana Balona Vincents. Kilala niyo po siya bilang Ate Rani. She's the youngest daughter of Bintao. I came to know my grandfather through my mother. She devoted her life in telling the story of my grandfather. Not for her own recognition, but to set an example to all to follow. Bintao was considered the most outstanding young leader and the father of student activism during his time. Napatunayan niya na ang kabataan kung may isang boses ay maaring magsulong ng mga panukalang bumubuo ng national policies at hindi hadlang ang edad to pursue national interest. Bilang editor-in-chief ng Collegian, he provided the voice to the voiceless students. At 23, he steered the publication to cover national issues. He was a troublemaker, exposing the power of some elected officials who inserted salaries in their own legislation. At 25, he became the youngest framer of the 1935 Constitution. He believed in upholding civil liberties and felt strongly against giving too much power to the executive department, believing it could lead to martial law. He was an advocate of human rights. As a guerrilla leader, during the war, he upheld the Geneva Convention in his treatment of the Japanese prisoners. As an entrepreneur, he implemented the minimum wage for miners of Prakalen. To bane of many right now, Bintao was an instrument of making Tagalog our national language, paving the way towards our national identity. As president of the Young Philippines, he championed women for public office, supporting Carmen Planas as the first councillor of Manila, and eventually Estrada Calao, who won a seat in the Senate of the Philippines. Because of this pandemic, we are living in the most challenging times of our life. Kagaya po nung panahon ng gera, we need vibrant leaders who will inspire the nation and go through the darkest moments of our lives. Someone with courage and who will take action. To me, Bintang's defining moment is when he gave his life for the country becoming the symbol of hope and freedom. Nagsimbing inspirasyon, hindi lang sa ating lalawigan, kung hindi sa buong bansa. He, together with my seven members of our family, were executed by the Japanese. We approach life in two different ways. In practical terms, most of us will take the easy way. It takes a distinguished character to sacrifice his life for the country. He was young. Instead of collaborating with the invaders, he chose freedom. Tayo po ay manatiling malusog at masigla. Pag-ibayuhin natin ang pag-iingat sa panahong ito. Salamat and Diyos Mabalos.